fresh. What a versatile word. It can be used to describe anything from a juicy apple to a Prince of Bel-Air. Still, when we see it on a packet, what does it mean? Well, let's begin with the dictionary definition, and for that, we brought in the help of this high school debater. Colin? The Macquarie Dictionary... Colin? The Macquarie Dictionary defines fresh as not canned or frozen, not preserved by pickling, salting, drying, etc. Thank you, Colin. Only it's not as simple as that, as the Federal Court found out earlier this year, when Coles was asked to explain why its freshly baked bread had, in fact, been frozen after being par-baked as far away as Ireland six months earlier. Now, the lawyers over at Coles argued... The word fresh needs to be understood in a retail environment. Now, that sounds a bit weird. Just remember that it needs to be understood in a trying-to-not-get-sued environment. So, what can you call fresh in a retail environment? Well, the ACCC have laid out some guidelines in this veritable page turn of a document called the Food and Beverage Industries Food Descriptors Guideline to the Trade Practices Act, or... And it's a pretty dry read. So we've asked some beloved Australian actors to help us make it more interesting. Damn it, Tom. What does the word fresh even mean to you? Janet, you know it can refer to the nature of a food, its age and its taste. So... Fresh can refer to the taste of a food, regardless of condition, which is a pretty broad stroke. And while you find products like this, a long-life milk with a fresh, milky taste. But let's get back to the guidelines. Look, generally, consumers may understand that a fresh food has not been frozen, processed, preserved, dehydrated, canned or cured. And it's tearing me apart! So, foods that have been frozen or pickled shouldn't be referred to as fresh? The term may be used as part of a brand name. Not when it gives the impression that it's fresh. When it's not. Thanks, guys. That was fantastic. Hey, can we get, can we get some Logies in here for these two? Absolutely. Go ahead, take a couple. So with all that in mind, what's going on with a brand of frozen vegetables called Steam Fresh? We asked Heinz, who told us... Fresh is not used as a descriptor or claim. It is part of a registered trademark, Steam Fresh. Go on. Steaming for a short period of time ensures preservation of texture and flavour during the cooking process. Uh -huh. The use of a trademark Steam Fresh refers to the steam cooking style of a meal preparation. Uh -huh. I get it. So, in your brand, the word steam means steam, but the word fresh obviously doesn't mean fresh, even though they're in the same clumsy word. Now, of course, these terms can be slippery when dealing with packaged goods, but what about fresh produce? Well, over at the Fresh Food People, they told us that... Fresh for Woolworths is about dealing directly with the farmer, cutting down the time it takes for a product to arrive at one of our supermarkets. And that's great. But Woolworths also told us that their growers can cold store their apples for up to 10 months, which means that you could be eating this apple in 2015. <laughs> Thank you. Mmm, fresh. Now, this is all by way of saying that the retail context that Coles lawyers were talking about gives companies an awful lot of scope. So if the dictionary definition of fresh is important to you when you're shopping around, just remember... The Consumer Dictionary defines fresh as the taste of a product, regardless of condition or whether it is frozen, pickled, stored for 10 months, or an irrelevant collection of sounds in a brand name. Great job, Colin. <clears throat> oh, fine. Someone give him a Logie. 